Okay. Okay, we leave. Can I go hunting for Monokuma dolls? Because if so, I'm going to do that. No. Okay. Start with you, dog. And that one's the strongest Yakia. I never thought about having to overcome anything before. Yeah, it's not like I just run away from my problems, but it's more like I was just living my life without even thinking about them at all. Even so, I was still alive. But it's just it's different. Ah, sorry, I'm being too negative. I understand, I'm, I feel the same way. But, uh, but now that we've talked, I feel assured once again. Be alone as one get us anywhere. That's why I think we should all help each other out. Also, I think we need to get stronger. An ordeal like this, yeah, an ordeal like this is what will make us cling to hope. Yeah, you're probably right. Bye now. Well, I'll be heading to the restaurant now. Good morning, Hajime. Yeah, good morning. Aww. Jeez, what's with the sullen face? Mm. Well, I guess I'm not one to talk. I couldn't really get to sleep last night. I got my mind. I don't know if I'll ever get the answers I'm looking for. Aww. Man, just for kicks I should. Prepare some yummy desserts and tea, and invite some people to come chat with me. Got it. Ah, just so you know, it's going to be girls only gathering. I expect the boys to be invited. Sounds like an excuse for some girl talk. What do girls even talk about? I guess guys will never know. Yeah, yeah. I'll go on ahead. Yeah, okay. And ignore you. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. <laughs> what is it? I just said good morning. Why is she so shocked? <laughs> My first time greeting someone and I was actually greeted back. I'm so ah. Oh. Wow. Ah. Oh. Um, could you do it one more time? Good, <laughs> good morning. Yeah, good morning. Oh, she's precious. She's precious! What kind of life has she had? I don't know, but it's upsetting to think about. I, she, she's lived a, a disastrous life. Jeez! Jeez, I'm so sleepy. Just the ham hands are so selfish. It's totally fine to spend the one sleeping in. But, if we need to eat breakfast anyway, what's wrong with eating it together? Aww. Well, I just spend my breakfast eating sweets in my room. <laughs> That's already fine. Um, eating sweets for breakfast is bad for your health. You're consuming way too many sugars and fats. Hey! You made you my doctor. Don't speak to me about my permission. Oh, I'm sorry. Ah, oh, don't, don't <laughs> pick on her. Jesus. Listen to this ugly bitch. Just cry. Oh, wow. Oh, my poor dear. You all right? There we go. That's it. Go. That's yep. That's what we need. We need that smile. We need that smile. We must protect it at all costs. She's, she's Tumblr. She's actually a scene girl. She is lol so random. It's amazing. Yes. I thought I'd greet when we were all eating breakfast together. It's a revolutionary new phrase that combines good morning and nom 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 at the same time. <laughs> it's definitely a new hip thing to say. In fact, I'll make sure it, it's the new hip thing to say. Meow. Good om nom nom. Oh. Okay. Okay, even if she makes it popular, it's still <laughs> limited to the silence. Good morning, Shiaki. Hey. Good morning. <laughs> what was that pause for? Well, I'm uh, doing some combo strings. I couldn't really reply. Doing what? Mm. Uh, I guess on the side. Did I interrupt? Yeah, yeah. She was playing. She was playing Dragon Ball Fighters, isn't it? I bet she mains Android 16. I bet she's an Android 16 main. The bitch. Several people already at the restaurant. None of them seem happy. Okay. No words talking. Not a single word. While they sat there, the people who were late began to arrive as well. I've made you wait. Is everyone here? Huh? huh? It seems. Get get them. Get them. What was the other name? It had Ryu in it. So I'm just, I'm just calling call Ryu. It seems Ryu. It's not here yet. <laughs> Maybe he already got killed. 
What is this woman's problem? Dead bodies already? No. Don't go killing people off. I saw him outside earlier. However, he told me that he would not be joining us this morning. <laughs> Why does he have to act like a lone wolf all the time like this? Maybe. Could he be thinking up a plan to kill someone by himself? You must not. Soda, you should not doubt your friend. Hey, hey, hey. Well, he's a Yakuza, isn't he? Do you understand what that means? He's part of the Japanese Mafia. Hmm. I presume he's the kind of person who would not come even if we summoned him. That's fine. I guess it can't be helped. We should just talk among ourselves. Someone can fill him in later. Talk? What are we going to talk about? Rejoice. I'm decided to throw a party tonight. Hmm? <laughs> a party? That's right. A huge party that will last from sundown to sunrise. What the? A party till the sun comes up. This is your leader's order. Just so we're clear. I will not allow any absences. Your attendance to this party is absolute mandatory. Huh? Huh? No, not yeah, now's not the time to talk about that stuff like partying. Hmm. On the contrary, there's no better time than this. Hmm. But still, we really should be partying. Wait! Mm, hold on. I agree with Biakia. It doesn't do us any good to stay bummed out like this. Hey. In fact, because of the situation we're in, it's probably best if we strengthen our friendship with one another. <laughs> That's what you thought too, right? That's why he wants to throw a party. Hmm. <laughs> Doesn't matter why I'm doing it. Anyway, it is of vital importance that we all stay in one place tonight. You fiend. You say that with such significance. It's all clear. It's decided. We're having a party. Well, we're having ourselves a party. What? Even so, I'm not sure it needs to last all night. Stop talking. If I thought that, it would have made it clear from the beginning. Oh god, don't, 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 pick, don't pick on her, please. It upsets me. <laughs> I feel bad for this little thing. It's important to be flexible in a situation like this. Perhaps a diversion from all this is just what we need. Yahoo! Then let's party hard. Uh, in that case, I'll put my amazing cooking skills to display for you guys. Mm. Where's the party going to be held? Would the restaurant be okay? Hmm. No, this won't do. We need a location that's impervious to interference from outsiders. A place where a place in Monokuma cannot enter. All we need is a enclosed space. Um, enclosed space. How if a restaurant won't do, then neither will the lobby. Uh, if it's not enclosed enough, um, nor will the cottages. With so many people, we'd all be pressed up against each other. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this fucker. But if you want to be pressed up against one another, then the cottage is clearly the best choice. I can't stand you. Pressing up against ladies about. Sneaking aboard the women only train in drag. <laughs> Have you done that before? There's something wrong with you. Oh, yeah, I can't, I can't believe how comfortable you are with saying your perverted thoughts out loud. <laughs> I may be a pervert, but I'm the kind of pervert everyone likes. I don't know about that. Your confidence is seriously impressive. Hey. Then, how about that old looking building near the hotel? Huh? That rundown place? You're right. Yeah, but if we do our best to clean it, I think it'll be perfect. Plus, it's basically the only place that meets our needs or in close space, right? However... Indeed, however, one of me has been us to enter in that old place. As other calls seem to have been re renovated. <laughs> I have heard your conversation. Heard it all the way from my own ears. Uh, I have good ears because I'm a rabbit. Uh, so you... So you use your ears, that's strange. Huh? Uh, the reason for the yeah. Can what's the for the surveillance cameras? Are they for Monokuma's eyes only? Hello. Ah, she looks so disappointed. That's fine. Well, so no concern. We can settle that issue another time. Listen. Regarding the old building, you can tell us something about it, right? <laughs> yep. If it's anything that everyone is bonded with each other, then I will not hesitate to cooperate. I shall allow it. In that case, I will allow you to enter the old building. I'll cooperate so we can all party together. Yeah, but that's not gonna happen because you're so disgusting. Understand? Do yourself a favor and stay away from mirrors. What is wrong with this bitch? What is. What is. Like. Like, Biakio is an asshole. Like, purely because of his own, like, show, social standing. Because of, like, how he's been raised. It's just. He's, he's expected. He's expected such behavior. She's just a malicious cunt. <laughs> Your calm words make me want to cry. Um, uh, so you're all good with the old building. And? Then, what about the reparations? If it's in the middle of renovation, don't we need to clean it first? Yeah. I have never done the dirty work known as cleaning before. I'm so excited to finally experience it. 
this this precious angel. Hey, hey, hey. Anyway, there's no way we can dirty our dear princess's hands. Aww. Yeah, I don't want to do it either. Jeez. What? Nobody's gonna do it. Hey. In that case, why don't we decide by random draw? Because you're lucky. Watch you be the one. Actually. Yes, I don't even pay you on pencils. Because I assumed something this would happen. We go for the trouble of pairing this. What did you think would happen? See? Whoever draws the chopstick with the red mark on it will be in charge of cleaning, okay? Does that sound fair? Judgment! Well then, let us entrust our destinies to the whims of the drawers. Alright! Well, no hard feelings. One by one, everyone took their turns to put in the chopstick, snuck it to hold in his hand. And when all said was done. I'm left with the red mark. Yeah, called it. Hmm. But someone called the ultimate lucky student. You don't seem very lucky right now. Well, I guess it can't be helped. All right. Well, if that's the case, leave it to me. Why don't you, why don't you actually be like, his luck is actually not luck for him. It's luck for other people. So it's like a misfortune for him at, at for luck about like. Imagine if that's it. He like he's the reverse. Like he's reverse luck. He's, he's the ultimate lucky student for the people around him. That would be interesting. <laughs> I thought so. You seem like you'd make a good stay-at-home dad. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Okay. I'll handle the cooking. All right. First, I need to prepare my ingredients. Then I'll start cooking at the old building. There's no mistaking it. I teru teru Hanamura. And that was it, Hanamura. I'll go all out. I will prepare the world's tastiest dishes for you all. Then... Yeah, and I just need to pass along the party details to Ryu. Uh, let's go about our business then. After Monokuma's nightly announcement, we'll meet at the old building. After everyone left, I said to go back to my cottage. Free time? Free time? The freest of times? They still have some time they before the party. Yeah, freest of times! We do it! But... I'm gonna go around and look for Monokuma dolls so I can get more money so I can get and do stuff. Cause I am out of coins. I'm probably gonna cut this up and speed it up or something. But I'm, I'm just going to be looking around for Monokuma dolls for a bit. It would appear those three are the only three that exist so far. All right. Okay, that's cool. 
That's adorable. Alright. Okay. Listen, listen, we do it. I don't care. I don't care, madam. It's okay if we spend time together. You're not, you're not being punished for something, are you? Oh, God. Mik oh, Mikan, I love you. Yeah, I spent the day rambling on with Mikan. Looks like Mikan and I grew a little closer. Yes, I would. What have I got? What have I got to give her? Uh, mineral water. Wait, why is this one white? Oh, because I've already given it to her, I guess. Oh, yeah, because it's black, it's not new. Okay. You want bandage? You want bandages? Ma! She likes bandages, there we go. Yes. For the rest of my life, I will never wash this hand of mine that received a gift from Hajime. Oh. Um, about before. It doesn't really matter. I'm sorry I had a weird attitude too. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't do anything wrong. It was my fault. It definitely... Yeah. That's definitely it. Uh, well, I'm trying to say it was my fault, so... Uh, Hajime, you look pale. Uh, really? Yes, your blood circulation is worse than usual. Have you been eating breakfast? Have you been getting enough sleep? Well, I've been eating somewhat, but I guess I'm not getting enough sleep. I understand you can't help it since we're in this situation. Don't try to avoid consuming any... Stimulants before you sleep. Take deep breaths. Do light stretching. <laughs> Little things like that will help. Yeah, will help with the quality of your sleep. If you don't get enough sleep, it can weaken your immune system and can lead to various illnesses. So please be careful. Also, um, is something the matter? No, I'm just a little surprised. Ah, I forgot to get hold myself again. I'm sorry. Ah, ah, ah. ah. Ah, this girl. Uh, you're wrong. You're amazing. I detected from the ultimate nurse. Yeah, it's not that big of a deal. I'm just, I'm just skilled at reading people's faces. I've been like this ever since I was young. I would get beaten up at school and at home a lot. Since nobody would treat me when I was hurt, I just did it myself. And eventually, I got good. Ah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's really bad. That's really bad. Why has she gone through this? Uh, but I think you have an amazing talent for helping people. I mean, even now, you know it's the way that I wasn't feeling real, right? So, thank you for caring about me. I always treated myself for my own sake, but one day I realized something. Sick people injure people are weaker than me. Huh? I mean... If you ignore a sick or injured person, they won't be able to endure the pain. And if worse comes to worst, they could even die, right? But if I know the proper way to treat them, that means my words are absolute. Which means they'll need me. They'll depend on me completely. That's why I can't leave the sick and oh, I can't leave the sick and injured alone. Because they always listen to what I say. That's a weird that's, that's, I, I get what she's getting. That's a kind of a weird way to phrase it, though. Like, I get it. She likes, she likes being dependent on. But the way she phrased it there was a little odd. But I guess I was completely wrong. Uh, I, don't know, I said something unnecessary again. I'm sorry. Uh, do you want me to buy you something to drink? Oh, I know. I'm also really good at imitating a sea turtle when she's about to lay. What does that even. I don't even. I. No, I, no, you don't feel well. I could, I'll take care of you with all my might. Okay, that I'm fine with. No, no, don't, don't say no to that. Say yes to that, you twat. But like, I don't. The, the sea turtle comment. I'm trying to wrap my head around. Yeah, that's great to hear. If I show her any weakness, it'll be the end of me. Oh yeah, hope fragment. 
I kept talking to Mikan and avoided talking about illnesses. I was exhausted when I got back to my room. You need to explain to me what life she lived. There's still some time left. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. What life has she lived? Oh, she's got three more. Jeez. She looks nervous. She thinks she's always wrong. And she'll offer to take her clothes off without permission. I know she, I know she's not a bad person, but how do I talk to her? Our life, she's done everything she can to avoid getting beaten up. Including taking over debt and let other people throw darts at her. How does she... I, that's upsetting. That is, that is legitimately upsetting. Uh, me kind of nurses anyone who is sick and hurt because they always trust her. And listen to whatever she says. If I get sick, she might pity under me. What what hap what has happened to this poor dejected woman? Not even a not even dejected, just abused. This is horribly, horribly abused girl. What has happened to her? What what did people do to her? It's depressing to think about. Look, you're next, okay? I just realised what 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 this reminds me of. It reminds me of the uh, the cat lady. Does anyone did anyone play the cat lady? It's like an indie game. Some crazy, some crazy shit. It was alright. Um, you know, I'm a little hungry, but if I eat now, I'll be too full to eat the party dishes. What should I do? Should I hang out, Mika? Yes, I should. <laughs> yeah, would you like to have some tea together? It'll take our minds off being hungry. I spent the time. I spent the time today. I spent time today. Why did I have trouble? I spent time today drinking tea with Mikan at the restaurant. I shall, but I don't know what. Sure, sure, fuck it. Yeah. Hey, it was alright, I guess. Is it okay for me to receive such a wonderful item? Uh, uh, yeah. Other than dying, I can pretty much do anything. Uh, please order me around whenever. Ah, uh, uh, she's so endearing and it's so upsetting. She upsets me with how endearing she is. Um, are you gonna talk about? Are you gonna talk to me again today? You can must be slowly opening up to me. She's actually asking me that. Regardless, I still feel nervous trying to think of something to talk to her about. Uh, I'm sorry. sorry. I was going to tell myself and said whatever I wanted. No, no, it's fine. I'm asking someone if I want to talk to you is totally normal. But you're making a face like there's nothing to talk to her about. She's pretty perceptive. Changing the subject probably won't work on her. I just thought I'm a nuisance. No, that's not true. I was wondering about what to talk to you about, but I wasn't bothered by that or anything. Besides, if I thought you were a nuisance, I never would have talked to you from the start. <laughs> well. No one's ever said that to me before. Um, thank you very much. I. She's. She's. Look, it happened to me with Sayaka, but please let me have this one. I did. It happened with Sayaka. Let Let me have one, please. Ah, oh, I'm glad. It looks like she's finally. It's, she's like a mixture of Sayaka and Chihiro. It's like, just let me have this one, please. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> Can I ask you about something? Huh? I don't mind. Hi, mate. Do you like school? I mean, before I enter hosting. No, you mean before I host enter hosting academy? Let's see. I didn't really like it or hate it. Well, actually, I don't think I liked it all that much. Hmm. I feel the same way. <laughs> this is my first time feeling things like fun. I felt that for the first time after I met you all. Well, 
Right now, we're not really in school. Even so, we're all working together and focusing on the same goal. And for the first time, I learned today, I learned that it's very fun. <laughs> Hi, Jeremy. Uh, I'm glad I came to this island. Because we're in this situation, everyone has finally acknowledged me. And I finally feel useful. Thanks to this irrational, hopeless, dangerous situation. I never thought I'd meet someone who actually thought that our situation, about a situation like that. Hey, hi, Jeremy. Do you know where you should target someone if you want to effectively torch? Uh, <laughs> yeah, what the f <laughs> Okay. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> There's no way I'd know that. It's simple. You can target anywhere, really. As long as you avoid fatal areas like the head or stomach. There are areas that aren't fatal. They're still very painful. So it hurts the shoulders and back. You can pinch there and kick these areas and even put a cigarette out. And... Okay, okay. Okay, we know. I, now I know why she's asked that question. Repeatedly. Over and over. <laughs> what? Why is, she, why is she like this? Why is she like. I, I, I have. Oh my god. People fucking telling me Makoto in Persona 5 has had a tragic backstory and is a sympathetic character. No, look at this! Look at this! Ah! Ah! But right now, at this very moment, nobody's trying to do that to me. Oh my god! Because of that, this place is like hell. I, I can't! I, I, the more I talk to her, the more bad I feel! Ah. Oh. Oh. I uh. I I I am I am honestly upset. I swear she fucking dies. I swear. I swear she fucking dies. I'm gonna be so pissed off with everything and everyone. I'm going to hate everything. Oh. Oh, this is the first time I've ever talked about my feelings like this with someone, so please don't hate me. I won't. There's no way I'll hate you. Thank you very much. It's not your fault. It's not Mikan's fault. It's definitely for certain. No matter what anyone says, there's no denying it. As I watch Mikan smile, I kept telling myself that over and over in my mind. Ah, oh, I am so depressed. Why? Why? I don't know. Oh. Oh my god. How I ca How dare you, game? How dare you do this to me? Ahem. Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. It is now 10 p.m. Please return to your rooms and relax. Let the sound of the ocean gently rock you to sleep. Now then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Good night, he says. Whatever, I have a party to attend. All right, time to go to the old building by the hotel. Okay, but first off, first off, I, I, I need I need to check on the update from my bay. Mikan thinks this island is heaven because there's no one to here to hurt. I can't! I can't! Oh my god, because there's no one here to hurt her. I'm sure if it's not her fault, she ended up like this. <laughs> oh my god, why? Why? Why do they hurt her? 
Why has she been hurt so much? Oh my my! Oh, are you also here for the party? Well, why else would I be here? Anyway, what are you doing in a place like this? <laughs> I'm doing a little exercise so I can get all yummy food we're gonna eat. I'm excited to eat Tero Tero's cooking. Yeah, especially since he's the ultimate cook. Uh, I love you. I love you. Let just let me just let me hold you. Just let me hug you, please. You need protecting. Oh, I do my best to not be in the way, so. It's fine if I stay here. No, no, join us. Even about something like that. Yes. Uh. I I let Ryu know. Why are you so attached to Ryu? Yeah, why are you? I don't know, but but he didn't look too pleased about it. Of course he didn't. He's an asshole. Ah, uh, Mikan, Mikan, why? Because this is the old building. Compared to the hotel, it looks definitely a lot worse for the wear. You're here. Now then. Stand up straight and raise your arms. What do you want? Because hmm. I need to do a body check. A body check? Since I'm the one hosting the party, it's necessary for me to take all the possible security measures. Listen. I already promised that I would not allow even one person to become a victim. I get it. And so, I actually raised my arms and stood straight. Ryaku went ahead and probably searched me. Start with my legs, working his way out. I see. It appears you haven't brought anything dangerous. Of course I haven't. That's fine. Very well, I'll allow you to enter. Huh? I don't know, I know it's a strange item near where Ryaku was standing. Metal cases. What? Duralunium, actually. Is that, a, is that an actual thing? Is that an actual thing? Duralunium. Du I don't know. I found them in the supermarket. Uh, this one is used to store. Any dangerous items I find, do on body checks, the other is for, well, this is for emergencies only. What do you mean emergencies? Stop talking. Don't worry about it. The other's already here. Come down, hold my back, go down, wait. As soon as he's head that, Biaki turns back to me. I guess that's the end of our talk. He's so cautious. I didn't expect him to perform a body check. And what do you mean by emergencies only? The bathroom appears to be unisex. I need to go now. Okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I missed the room. Uh, I've been found. Ah, oh, yeah. Is there star used for busy work? It looks like it looks like it's dusty. Better not touch it. More importantly, I should hurry over to the dining room. I guess there's no finding coins in this game. It's just the bears. When I come contacts us through the monitors, I don't want to break it, but you know what happened. Yep. Okay. There's a camera here too. Seems like they're everywhere. There's a circuit breaker. Why is it way up there? How is anyone supposed to reach it? More importantly, I should go to the dining hall for now. No control for the air conditioner. I wonder if it feels as clean. Well, more importantly, I should go to the dining hall for now. I'm going to check every room before the dining hall, though. There's the kitchen and a storage room. Hello. Is it is it needed? Do you need to bolt these up when we're on an island? Oh. It's tantalizing the room of from the kitchen. Jeez. Whoever back here will yell at me if I if I go straight to the dining hall. Okay. Well, I mean you can say that, but Hello. Oh, different types of dishes, but just me on the bone looks like something a caveman would eat. 
Where do you even get something like this? I'm hungry, I guess I should go to the dining hall. Murder weapons. I don't know anything about knives, but Terry Terry probably knows what knives are used for. One point I should have to. Yeah, shut up. Is this the kitchen equipment list? Yeah, details where each item is supposed to go. We are more of a dining hall, yeah. Hello there. Oh, did you need something? Don't no worry, I've already prepared all the dishes. Or rather, did you want me to cook? Do you want me to cook you up too? Huh? What does that even mean? <laughs> okay, well we we'll back out. Hello, princess. I see. I see. So this is what the inside looks like. There are so many gaps in the wooden floor. Is it because it's so old? All right. I must tread carefully so my feet do not stumble. My adventurous heart is pounding with excitement. I guess when you're a princess, even the little things seem exciting. <laughs> She's so pure. She's too pure for this world. There's a jumble mass of stuff. All set together, it doesn't look very organised. I should have to... okay. Laundry hamper, looks like you put Dave Hose in it, so... okay. Stacks of clean tablecloths, they haven't been used yet. Okay. They're, these are irons. Uh, Where they used to repair the tablecloth, if so, why do you need three? Okay, Daniel, okay. Oh no, oh okay, it's because it's, it's a big door. Okay. I was like, what the fuck? Well, alright. Ah, <laughs> oh, how'd, how'd you like it? <laughs> what do you mean? See, I decorated the whole dining room for the party. Even laid out the carpet too. Really? Even the carpet? Yep. Yep. I brought it from the supermarket. This place sure does seem to have everything. I actually wanted to cover the whole floor, but I guess the carpet wasn't big enough. <sighs> uh, there was a lot of dust and cobwebs all over the place too. It took me, it took me all day to clean the dining hall just because of that. There's no way I can handle being stuck clean for the whole day. You're commendable, Nagato. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. Right, let's talk to peeps. Let's talk to peeps. Hmm. This old place sure was run down. I feel bad Nagato went to all the shovel to clean it. Even cleaning has its limits. See, check out the floorboards. Maybe the wood shrank because of deterioration. Don't this opening seem dangerous to you? You're right. Aww. Well, the carpet is spread out enough to cover most of the floor, so I guess it won't be that big of a deal. Hey. Well, it might be best to tell Mikan to be careful. Yeah, she is a touch of nothing. I'm worried about Monokuma showing up. If he finds out we're having a party, there's no way he'll leave us alone. We gotta do something about that. Yeah, yeah, you're right. We should do something. Super difficult. I wonder if someone can do something about it. Hmm, I wonder. Mm. I wonder. So on the same page then. <laughs> I'm sure I understand. Rose. That creepy Byakuya rubbed his hat. <laughs> okay. More like sexual harassment. That's that's not what it is. He did the same thing to the guys too. <laughs> so? I felt like he was getting frisky while he was frisking me. Eh? <laughs> uh, I'm pretty in demand, you know. Of course you are, because you're a fucking lolly. Japan loves them lolitas. You know, just kidding. Cheese. 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 Hina, calm down. Eh, what's up? Here's the point. You can completely focus on the food. Uh, man, it's, it was so uncomfortable. Getting groped so thoroughly by a man. <laughs> that was the worst nightmare. Oh, you mean the body check? How annoying! Well, because he pissed and started yelling at me. And you know, so I had a wrench with- Why would you have a wrench with you? I mean, you're like, okay, you want, you're a mechanic. Alright. Yeah, so I thought we were having a wrench in the first place. Man. I just happened to find it at the airport, carrying it around, can't it down. But Byakuya put that in these case. Aw, oh, man. Good instinct. 
Even though that man is the only one, it appears his cooking skills are most impressive indeed. Nevertheless, even his food cannot stand against the gourmet cuisine of the multiverse. Alright. A lot of taste looking dishes, meat, fish, it's all here. Fancy looking party dishes, some tables towards the front. Lots of luxurious looking pie dishes, looks tasty. Big table, all dishes be placed here too. Iron plates? That reminds me, I saw some, I saw some similar looking iron plates in the hallway too. But, why are the iron plates bottled on the walls? I have no idea. All is not what it appears to be. Eh? One of my four divas, Supernova Silver Fox Sandy. I don't has seen what lies shrouded in the midst of darkness. For the iron plate, oh that iron plate appears to be bolted to the wall. It's actually bolted over what's known as a window. Window. Let me tell you this. There are no windows in this building or in this iron hall at all. I assume these iron plates are covering them. But why are iron plates covering the windows? The night hmm. is my domain. Sandy, it appears your fur is rustling more than usual today. <laughs> hey. Why are the iron plates covering the windows? Let's make Such history. a fine day, countless lives grasp their first breath, countless more go the way of the flesh. I guess he doesn't know. Well, this building is in the middle of renovation, so I guess it might have something to do with that, but this place sure has a lot of creepy eyes here because of that. Suddenly, we heard the voice of the ultimate affluent prodigy ring throughout the iron hall. I've made you wait. Thank you for waiting. Hmm. Chair is in the kitchen and it appears. Ryu did not come. I apologize. I apologize. Did a phone about the party, but Jeez. yeah, it's not like you need to apologize, Pecco. I, I can't believe Pecco is actually a name. Uh, it's his fault for not coming. I especially say the attendance was mandatory, but it's fine. If it, if just one person's absent, then she not pose a problem. He won't be able to do anything. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by that? What? More importantly, come on. Hey, what is that? His expression spread across the back of his face and he looked at the table with various food dishes on it. Dangerous. He stomped his way toward the table. Hey, what are you doing? You're hogging all the food! Not fair! No, I'm not! <laughs> I don't care what you say, you're totally pigging out! I'm telling you, I'm not. Look carefully at this thing. It looks like delicious roasted meat! And just what is stabbed into this roasted meat? It's an iron skewer. That's right. This iron skewer is definitely a dangerous item. I must take full responsibility and collect it. I... Alright. Hello there. Hey, looks like everyone's here. Let's go ahead and bring out the rest of the... Uh, huh? <gasps> what? Some messy year ruined my arrangement. <laughs> Who made this dish? Um. That would be me, but uh... Are you a food critic? What are you thinking? What are you plotting? Cooking with such dangerous items. No, 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 no. Dangerous. No, no, no. I don't know what that word is. Churrasco. Churrasco. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. It's a South American meal where you stab meat with an iron skewer and cook it. Mm -hmm. It felt really tip tropical and exotic. So I thought it would totally fit the party's atmosphere. Sure. Those iron skewers are a problem. Why? Huh? Iron skewers aren't allowed either. If that's how you're acting, then there might be more skewers than just these. Let's go. Hey, hide your mate. Come with me, I need your help. Oh, why me? Man. It's your fault for standing right in front of him. My condolences. Back to his face, bore with intense expression, as I actually followed him out of the iron hall. Let's go. Alright, the kitchen. Yeah, this is the kitchen. We need to thoroughly inspect to make sure there's no dangerous items. Sorry, huh? He something to the kitchen and I followed him after. Listen. Let's get on with it then. So let's just place thoroughly. As he issued that all of Yaku began searching the whole kitchen from one end to the other. Hmm. Look, I found these. There are forks and knives on the shelf. Don't tell me these two. Naturally. These are definitely dangerous items. If you're eating chopsticks are enough. After you said that, Yaki have a few of the forks and knives into the jewelry in case, one after another. 
You're being very thorough about this. You appear to be very slight tonight, but these. What? Ah, good question. These knives are far too dangerous. Hand them over to me, I'll safeguard them. Yako grabbed the knife from my hand and threw it in the case, so it's the rest. Of course. Uh, what else? Hmm, this paper is. I see. I see, it appears to be an equipment list from the kitchen. 20 forks, 20 knives, 20, 20 spoons, 5 iron skewers, 3 frying pans, 21 glasses. There are also iron plates for barbecue, and even a portable stove for cooking hot shots. Hmm. Uh, iron plates and a portable stove. I don't recall seeing them on the shelf over there. This kitchen needs to be well kept. Should be no problem using it. Though, the building is old, the kitchen is impressive compared to a normal restaurant that's not too shabby. Very strange. But it's strange. One of the items on this list seems to be short by one. Oh? What one? Hey, is it necessary to go this far? I'm doing it because it's necessary. If I'm to fulfill my promise, and ma yeah, I made to not let anyone become a victim, I must be extra vigilant. Really? Is that all? What? What do you mean? Well, I'm just assuming, but I think something must have happened to you. After all, you decided to throw a party so suddenly. I can't help but think there was reason for it. Hmm. No, that's not it. I've been a trustful person for as long as I can remember. A trustful person? Shh. I don't really like to talk about my past, but it's fine. I'll just, I'll just tell you a little bit of it. Hmm. I cannot talk to others about my past. I suspect that my skeptical nature is part of the blame. Yaku has a past he can't talk about. Hmm. The trust in others and being distrusted in turn. For a long time, my life was a living hell. It was inevitable that I would end up this way. <laughs> but in this kind of situation, my skeptical nature might be good juice. If we're to survive skepticism, it's necessary at all costs. By the way, that past you mentioned. That's enough. Now is not the time. However, one day there will be definitely a time when I'll be able to tell you about it. Hmm. If nothing happens and time passes for us peacefully, I will have no choice but to talk. That sounded pretty deep. I sort of feel like things are even more mysterious now because he hasn't told me the whole story. This guy might have a deep history hidden within him, deeper than I thought he'd have. Such silly talk. But yeah, enough of initially bad now. We need to hurry and find the rest of those dangerous items. Yeah, I got it. Even so, he sure works hard. That's probably in line with his actual personality a bit. Yeah, there's even a huge piece of meat at the bone. I see. Yeah, there seems to be no young times here, like the skewer. Yeah, it's inside a pile of food. It appears to be the case. Now, if you would have known if he said fish bones and meat bones were dangerous items. Huh? Why? Why? Well, the kitchen's a mess. What happened here? Stop talking. Don't raise your annoying voice. I just removed all the dangerous items. Huh? There are no knives or forks. Why? How come? Don't make me repeat. I literally myself. just said I removed all the dangerous items. Kidding, Don't tell me. Right? You're treating food utensils like dangerous items? Oh, no, 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 no. Well, most of the dishes are finished. All I gotta do is arrange the plates, so it's not a problem. But, but still. Ah, hard, you may. Stop it. Get off me. Eh? Yeah. Non that sort of thing. Well, that's. Okay. Okay. So he's just, he's just, he's just re well, ready to fuck anyone. All right. Hey, before you start getting all flirty, explain this. I checked the equipment list and there's, seems to be an iron skewer missing. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. As far as I know, there's been missing from the start. Mm -hmm. and no matter how clean this place gets, stuff will still bound to go missing in an old building, right? If it's been missing all along, can we really... Yeah, we really can't do anything about it, right? Hmm. You're right. There's no place to hire such a long skewer anyway. Very well. All I need is to keep a watchful eye. Uh, don't tell me you plan to keep a watchful eye all night long. Let's go. All right, let's go back. Gabby should be waiting for us. You too, Terry Terry. Uh, come turn down the hall for now. Uh, okay, jeez. What a pushy leader. Ah, they're finally back. Hey, hey! Hey, let's do it already. I'm starving. Hmm. Yeah, it's still an issue we need to address first. Lies. <laughs> an issue? All right. Who do I gotta beat the crap out of? Just say the words and I'll do it for you. That's enough. That won't be necessary. The issue is where is where the safeguard this dream case has all the complicated any times in it. Uh, we, we can't we just leave it here? Hmm. We've already put a lock on the case, so it shouldn't be a problem, but. 
We should definitely, we should only up security and keep it someplace safe. Um. Someplace safe. Oh, there's a storage room in the back of this old building. I see. A storage room, huh? Even so, we can't leave the case alone in there. Then. Then someone should guard it. I should keep it safe, right? Ah. Who? Who? I'll do it, of course. Uh, are you sure? I guess if you insist. Just kidding. Uh, but you'll be lonely there by yourself. I don't mind. I don't mind. I'm really not good in situations where I have to be around lots of people anyway. <laughs> if I wrote a song about this, the title would definitely be Lonely Girl in the Storage Room. However. <laughs> okay, that's not creative. That's, that's not creative at all. However, Terra Terra has gone to trouble cooking. Is, uh, is it alright for me to bring some of it with me? Okay. Yeah, that's definitely fine. What? But if you're going, to, if you're going to do guard duty anyway, it might be better if you avoid the storage room. Huh? Why is that? Well, not only is the storage room packed with lots of stuff, it's hard to see in there and fill the cobwebs. Also, I'm so busy cleaning the dining room, I didn't have time to clean the storage room. If you stayed in there all the, yeah, for a long time, it would be bad for your health. In that case, why don't we, why don't you guard it in the office? If I recall correctly, there's also a circuit breaker in there too. It'd be a good idea to guard that as well. Yep. Yeah, the office sounds nice. I'm pretty sure it's not that dirty either. Understood. Understood. I will, yeah, so I need to Yeah, so I need to be on guard you at the office. Then I should go and have fun tonight, everyone. Take take in with her the duralium case. I I'm not think that's a word. And a plate filled with foods. Pecco left the dining hall. I see, I see. Seeing Pecco's back as she walks away makes me feel like she's got this super cool melancholy vibe. Huh? Hmm? But shouldn't she have taken that other case of her too? <laughs> this? No, this this case is fine. That's weird. Yeah, no fair. You're like the only one getting to bring your own stuff. Naturally. When you're as special as me, you get special privileges. <laughs> you put it that way, it's hard to argue with you. Listen. This young case stays with me at all times. I'll put a key to the other case in here as well. I'll take responsibility for watching over it. There's no way I can let anyone else handle this now. More importantly, we're all done now, right? Let's <laughs> start the party. Stop talking. No, there's still more. I'm gonna do it! Oh, who really wanted me to be a big <laughs> Okay, okay, she's fun. She's fun. Seriously. Has nothing to do with that. Uh, actually, it's a volunteer, and I do have one particular nuisance in mind. Huh? What are you talking about? That's right. Monokuma, of course. He's the one thing that would obviously to stop this party. I'll show you my serious. Ah! <laughs> so, gonna <let> me. <laughs> so, gonna let me eat if I beat the crap out of Monokuma, right? Hold on. Wait a sec. If you actually pick a fight with that thing, you're just gonna end up perf you know, perforated. Move. Are you telling me to wait until I starve to death? So, so after, that's a little extreme. Hmm. Our problem is not someone we can just fight, rather. It's better if we use our heads to think of a plan. Hey, hey. I'll do something about that. What? Do something. You. Hey, hey. Hey now, what can a girl like you do? You're just gonna put yourself in danger. Nope. I won't. It's not It's not like I'll personally do anything. You won't. <laughs> you intend to utilize Mona me? Yep. Yep. Yeah, if I can talk to her into helping us, she might be able to keep Monokuma at bay, at least. That's what I think. Uh, ah, that's would be a good idea. She looks at the type that's easily manipulated. Wow, oh. that's rude. Plus, Monomi and Monokuma totally have a rivalry going on. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty one-sided rivalry. Are you okay? But, we really be okay, Chiaki? I still think it's dangerous. It's gonna be fine. Yeah, it's fine. If things get dangerous, I'll just run away as fast as I can. Oh, right, then, I'll be going now. What's this feeling? I feel somewhat uneasy. It's not like I have a bad feeling about this, but something feels off. So, it's all settled, right? Then can we? You're right, let's begin. Did she rip off part of her shirt? Did she rip off part of her shirt when she went Super Satan? What's going on here? Uh, fine. Sorry, the button quick can finally begin. Uh, you better keep me entertained. You gotta get hamsters eat too. And with that, the party started. And Akane is crying because she's so happy to eat. Okay. Now that I think about it, I still understand why we even have a party in the first place. 
But uh, whatever the reason, everyone seems to be having fun. Hey, are we good? Can I finally eat? You're already eating! <laughs> I, I can't stop! Uh, Alright, okay. <laughs> I can't stop my hands from shoving food in my face! <laughs> okay. Well, of course you can't stop. These are the world's tastiest party dishes, after all. No matter how full you feel, you can't help but continue eating such exquisite delicacies. That is what I cook, the world's tastiest dishes. That's rather scary. It is a tad, because then you'll eat till you die. You're not eating? Then I'm going to eat all this by myself. I'll make lots more in the kitchen, and then I'll bring it all out here, okay? Hey, everyone. While we're at it, why don't I take pictures for you guys? Wow. That sounds wonderful. Please do. This feels weird. When I first came to the site and watching everyone was having fun was so frustrating. But now it feels reassuring. We're actually friends who fight together. Friends who've developed a sense of unity. Mm. Yeah, Nekomaru, did something happen? It's probably just started, but I must return to my cottage. Come on. And then guess you have to take a shit. Don't stop me! When I can't um, <laughs> What is with him and having to take a shit? Sure. Shit, my pants would totally shame me as a man. So he was talking about what? What is with this guy and shitting? If he's the bathroom, there's one. There's one in this whole building. Why do you have to go back to your college? I've been trying to use it many times, but the door won't open at all. What? What is this blasphemy? What now? Impossible. My hellhound here has disappeared. Did it vanish into some- what? Calm down, we just dropped it somewhere. Sure. <laughs> Quiet. Wait, it's with this guy and shitting! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna all this? Don't be an idiot. Make sure you leave some for me. Come on! Hey, yeah, Biakia, everyone, let's go and take a picture. Say cheese! Why <laughs> can't <laughs> you all lack a little for sure? What? What was that sound just now? Ooh, circuit breaker. It's a blackout. A blackout? Hey, I can't see anything. And in an instant, let's just tumble around in the darkness. Our fierce horror does sub like a flood. It's pitch black! My future is pitch black! The sounds of screens and frantic footsteps rang through the dark hall. Or dark dining hall. And were minions followed by another sound. Because the windows were eyelid covered, the blackout surrounded us complete into complete darkness. Complete darkness, therefore, no matter how long I wait, there's no way my eyes were going to adjust. This is ow! Turn the damn lights on! I can't eat like this, you know! You guys? Where are you? Well, wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? Perhaps the breaker overloaded? Hold on a sec. I'll go along the wall and do something about it. In the darkness, we feverishly waited to be released from Mafia. We anxiously waited, and after a while, it finally. And at that moment, when the lights in the dining hall finally turned back on, a shocking scene unfolded before our eyes. <coughs> this is. Mikan's appearance has been completely compromised. What? I don't. I'm sorry! I again! I don't even. I do not even. Seriously? How do you trip and land like that? Yay! An erotic pose. That's obviously a fan service moment. Obviously, yeah, yeah. Okay. Thumbnail. It's not, but yeah. <laughs> no! Please don't! Please don't look at me. <laughs> I can't take this at all. My hero, it's time to snatch some shots. <laughs> There's no way I can do that. <laughs> Please forgive me. Just forgive me already. I don't even. Everyone, I think it would be best if we help her. I don't already. even. How? I can understand tripping in the dark, but there's questions about the hostages. Like, like it's around the arms and down to the lip. How? Like she could even. She couldn't even purposefully do that. 
in the pitch darkness. She couldn't even purposefully do that if she tried. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> yeah, for now, just be careful. Huh? Oh, I'm glad the lights are back on here too. Yay! Yay, you're the one who fixed the breaker. Uh, you are unusually useful this time. Hey. Well, no, I couldn't find my way to the office with the circuit breaker. Huh? Huh? You yeah, want the lights back on? <laughs> who knows? What? Are you stupid? Don't who knows me. You're so useless. <laughs> oh, that's not my fault, you know. There's no way I could have found my way to the office in that darkness. Oh my! What happened? Sorry, this nothing happened. Um... No, Biakia is missing. Did he go somewhere? Huh? Yeah, Biakia. We immediately looked around the dining hall. Sure enough, Biakia, who promised that he would lead us in situations like this, was nowhere to be found. That's weird. He was here earlier, right? Um, Did he run off somewhere during the blackout? In that pitch blackness? Hey. I'm a little worried. We should split up and go look for him. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. For now. Then I guess I'll go back to the office. Then I shall go look around the hallway. <laughs> I'll wait here. <laughs> this is the kind of middle of eating anyway. <laughs> mm. I must bathroom. Sure. I don't, I don't, I don't understand. Jeez! Jeez, Mr. Ham Ham just ran away because there was a black, yeah, uh, itty bitty blackout. <laughs> it's like a shameful leader. If I find him, I'm gonna finger flick him in the face as punishment. Even so, where did Biakia go? Uh, I believe I have to go check the entrance, which was with Sharky. Uh, hello, madam. Um. I uh, searched the hallways, but there's no sign of Biakia. Where did he go? Is he outside? Haven't looked yet. I'll go check. Chucky and, Mon and Monami are standing in front of the entrance. I guess they're watching out for Monokuma. Huh? Huh? Hi, Jimmy. What about the party? Oh, uh... it's n yeah, it's not done yet, right? I haven't even joined in yet. Hey, Chucky. Did you happen to see Biakia pass by here? Nope. Biakia? Nope. But what happened to Biakia? There was a sudden blackout inside the old building and Biakia vanished during that time. So we thought he might have gone outside, but nope, nobody came out. If nobody came out, does that mean he's still inside? If that's the case, we might have missed each other. I think. That's the way I think. Well, when I talked to Chucky, she said that he didn't go outside. That's, That's weird. No one was inside the storage room either. Mm. He wasn't in the kitchen, obviously. Mm. It is strange, no? Nobody was in the office? That's weird. What about Pekka? I thought she was supposed to be guarding that area. Hey. Well, actually, not even Pekka was there. Huh? Yeah, Pekka's gone too. Mm. Hmm. Maybe they took advantage of the blackout to have themselves a major makeout session in the bathroom. Well done. Uh, truly, truly outrageous. Mm. Did something happen to Kane? Well, do you, you smell something? Well, well. Partly digested food is absorbed by the small intestine. It's decomposed by bacteria releasing gas, which is mostly absorbed through the int intestinal tract. That's not what we're talking about though. But whatever cannot be absorbed is created from the anus. Yes! Hose are the mechanics of farting, but farting is something that should be embarrassed about. It's not like that. No, I'm talking about that. Wait. It smells like blood. Oh, hello. I like how she's just like, that's the smell of blood. And I know the smell of blood if I know it. I know blood, but I smell it. As a car is nose twitched like a beast, she suddenly pointed. It's coming from over there. A table. The very back of the dining hall. Okay, first off, though. Hey. Smelling blood. How can anyone even do that? Just her imagination. Yeah. Hey, but why me, though? The smell of blood. I'm only able to smell the appetizing aromas of wafting dishes. This is going nowhere. Sorry, my eyes are too fun trained. <laughs> but my ears are way tainted, no joke. I smell a lot, I should be to, I should be used to smelling it. I'm sorry. I, I, I don't <laughs> this poor thing. Okay, let's, let's check. <laughs> Under the table. I dashed towards the table at the back, reached out towards the tablecloth, 
And then I stopped. Is it analysis? Fear? Why, why am I being so nervous? It can't be. It obviously can't be. There's no way that's gonna happen. If so, I got a table cloth flipped it back in one go. Well, Biaki, you're dead. Biaki, you're dead. All right, for the first of my life, I will never forget what I saw. What I saw. I saw the ultimate affluent prodigy, Biaki Togami, already dead and beyond recognition. I. I. I just stood there horrified as showers of screams rang out from behind me. As I gazed quietly at the body of my former friend. Why? What is this? Hey, 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 hey! It's impossible. Don't mess with me. What? What? What happened to Peku, though? What happened to Peku? Also, Ryu. <laughs> this can't be real blood, right? It's got to be something like jam or sauce. Because if not, this. What the hell? Good gracious! Things quickly took a turn for the worse. Yippee! My mind now. This is interesting. Thrills, chills, kills! On the tropical paradise known as Jabberwock Island, the very first murder has finally taken place. Murder? Could it be? Hold on, does that mean? <laughs> of course. That's right. Biakia was killed by one of you. What? Of course. If you look at the body, you can tell instantly he was obviously murdered. <laughs> look. He has such a horrible expression on his face, don't you think? A face filled with regret that his life was ended by force, all thanks to someone who selfish son of self decided uh, to have a dying face such as this. If this isn't murder, then what the heck could it be? Hmm. Yeah, it was most likely sacrificed by someone who really wanted to leave the silence. L lies. It's all lies. You're lying. No, he was murdered. Murdered? Remember when I screamed that word? I think money, feeling, and despair swallowed within my body. Which means that I accepted the fact that the was murdered. What is this? Could it be? Where the fuck were you? Why? Right, why did this happen? Why be up here? I see, I see. It appears Ryu was the only one who isn't here. What are you gonna do? So in the spirit of keeping everyone on the same page, how about I do it just the usual way? A body has been discovered! Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin! Class trial. Hey, um. I want to explain this to you, right? If one of you gets murdered, the rest of you have to de debate and to find out which one. Of, which, uh, uh, and debate who you think is the black. I don't know why my brain is reconstructing sentences to end how I want them to end. You tend us to figure out who the killer is. Correct. That's right. From this point on, you guys must investigate and uncover the black and culprit. That's impossible. This can't be. Someone actually killed? There's no way. If you make an outburst like that, you'll end up being a suspect. That's... I won't believe it. One of us killed by Byakuya? Even though he's something so hopeless as that would ever happen. No, no, no! If you're actually thinking that way, it means you guys are already being conned by the killer. <laughs> come on, come on, let's hurry up and begin! An impassioned, life-risking battle between you guys and the Blackened. And it's already started. It's like the moment one of you plotted to kill someone. Hey, hey what are you saying? You can't. Everyone, please, you cannot. You should not believe what Monokuma says. <laughs> no matter how much you interfere, there's only ever one truth. On my grandfather's... On my grandfather's name? Huh? You have a grandpa? On my grandfather's... On my grandfather's grave. Hey. Grave? Grandfather's dead? What happened to him? On my grandfather's... Grandfather's plane. Emergency! 
I have a few ground pods. The plane crash? Oh, I don't even know where to begin. At this rate. You ain't my comedy partner anymore. Ah! It hurts so much when you hit me with a charging corkscrew attack. Okay, we get it. You see that? This time, this third power. Let's fight your big brother and I will show you no mercy. I will harden your heart and teach you a lesson you won't soon forget. <laughs> if I have my magic stick, I'll be able to fight back against Mario Kuma. Fine, fine. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Let's just leave the whiny rabbit loser alone and get on with the investigation. Now then, in the spirit of the, lo um, of the lovely doubt and dovey deception, put your heart and soul into investigating. Yeah, I wish you the best of luck. And with that, Monokuma vanished, leaving those of us with, you know, who were grief-stricken alone with, with our despair. What is this? What does this mean? I don't understand this at all. Oh. A search for Byakuya's killer. Why did it turn out like this? What's going on? Uh, give me a break. Why do I have to be involved with someone in this horrible situation? Um. Um. You can't doubt each other because you're all friends. Mr. Ham Ham's already been killed, right? If we don't find out who the killer is, we're all gonna get killed, right? Wait. That being said, I cannot abide by this. Now, and now that I finally made friends, there's no way I can doubt them. No. Seriously? Did you even listen to what I said? It doesn't matter if you, if you can abide by this or not. We gotta do this to survive, right? Then we have no choice but to do it. I won't forgive you. No, friends doubting our friends is the major no-no. Ah, shut up. Just go away already, you useless piece of trash. Ooh. Threats are scary. Do we really have to do it? No. I don't want to do something like that. No. Mm. I don't want to do it either. It sounds so scary. However. However. Uh, it's just as Hyoko says, if we're going to get killed or not. Yeah, if we're going to get killed for not doing it, then we must do it. But still, I can't believe one of us killed Byakuya. There's no way I can believe it. There's no way. So, for that reason, yep. I'll do it. I'll investigate Byakuya's death. I'll do my best to prove that there is no killer among us. Then, yeah, there's no cure to deceive or doubt each other. That we must fight is not ourselves. It's no mistake. But that which is trying to crush us, this despair. This hopelessness. Yeah, this hopeless reality. Real enemy that we must fight. If we're gonna survive this, then I have to fight it. Um, hey, before we start, can I say something? Well, in close circle detective games, the player usually has to decide on who's going to guard the crime scene. What should we do? I know. Oh yeah, it'd be bad if the killer destroyed the evidence and got away with it. Destroyed the evidence? Pointing. Pointing. <laughs> I love that. I I I all like. I can't stress how great that is. And how it's only said when she does that sprite. Okay. Look, over there. That big bulky brawny guy is perfect for guard job. <laughs> what the heck happened? Man. That guy has a sensitive heart, despite his looks. Is is that what that means? Hey. Um, uh, I can be the one who watches the crime scene. I don't have enough confidence to investigate the body, and it's not like I have the brains either. I'll just stay by Byakuya's sides. That's the least I can do. That's what Gajo is, right? Uh, my hero. Uh, um, I'll do my best. I'll do my very best to not get in your way. Yes. I, ha I have medical training, so if it's too much trouble, I can perform an autopsy. Please. Um. So you're going to stay as well. Is that okay? <laughs> And what, specifically, should we be doing now? I have no idea. Mm. It's pretty obvious. We're all just amateurs. Going through each grain of sand on a beach is just, yeah, just to find a clue. It'll be a waste of time. The only ones who can do that are the police. There's no way amateurs like us will be able to do that. Hey. So, let's first follow our intuition. We'll start from there and prove that uh, no one of us, yeah, yeah, none of us could have killed Byakuya. I don't know, I think Food Boy could have done it. I think Food Boy could have done it. I don't know why, I just... I, I just have it in my mind that he's a problem and needs to go. Because he's a problem and he needs to go. But, like, legitimately, I don't know who could have done it. Because he wasn't killed with one of the skewers. If it was one of the missing eye skewers, I'd say Food Boy. But it was a, it was a knife. 
So I don't know. No, it's to perform an autopsy on your friend, how cruel. But I have no choice, right? There's no way I could do something like decline, right? I won't believe. I won't believe. Yeah, I could get killed. I can't I don't believe that at all. Ah uh, <laughs> Fine, I'm in. You are right. As that's kinda quick. It that's kinda quick. You've never you've never accepted. Alright. This is the worst. Something like this. It's the only thing we can do in order to stay alive. Find out who the killer is. That's our only hope for survival. Stuff like this is hope. Even so, I gotta do it. <laughs> investigation! Ta -da! Uh, you thought it was time for the investigation, but. It's the file. Is that on a tablet? Have you have you upgraded, sir? Hey, hey! Just like for you amateurs need this, right? What is this? A monochrome file? Please, explain the rules all the time really breaks my bones. Well, it's not like I have bones in the first place. Like, I don't even. Yeah, like, that even make me say such lame jokes. Allow me to Let's explain. see. The monochrome file contains precise and detailed information regarding the dead body. What? I brought it to you so you guys can smoothly proceed the investigation. I'm such a nice guy. I'm so nice, I want to be known. As the, as the Mother Teresa of the mascot world. Hey, hey. Nice, you say. You're just a selfish meaning. What's this? My, 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 mon ami. <laughs> the meanless, the meaningless mascot. You're still here. You Don't put me in the meaningless mascot genre. Yeah. Come on, let's go. The turn is already up. Hurry up and get the hell out of here with me. <laughs> Ouchie, put <laughs> my ears. You're gonna come off. They're finally gone. You wanna kill my foul, huh? Anyway, I guess I should look at it. I should look over. I should look it over, just in case. He has a tablet. He, he upped. He upped his game. The victim's body was discovered in the dining hall, the old building near the Hotel Mirai. The estimated time of death was 11:30 p.m. The victim was repeatedly stabbed over 10 times between the throat and the abdominal region, resulting in death. Aside from that, the body has no other external injuries and no chemicals such as poisons were detected. So, Byaku really is dead. Damn it. You promised there wouldn't be one victim. Why'd you end up being one? And now, I'll never know what you're going to say to me. I can't talk to others about my past. I suspect my skeptical nature is partly to blame. Distrusting others and being trusted in turn. For a long time, my life was a living hell. It was inevitable that I would end up this way. In the end, what did it even mean? Could it be? Even so, if there really is a traitor, isn't that gosh darn awful? Pretending to be your ally and tricking, and tricking you guys. Can it be helped if someone like that gets killed, right? A traitor? No way. Just because he said lots of serious things doesn't mean he was a traitor. What am I thinking? I reckon my file won. Anyway, we need to carefully examine everything. That's right. I need to do it. If we're going to survive this, we need to do it. I have to prepare myself for the worst. Okay. Investigation time. Okay. Boy. 